And as you can hear, immediately we have monitoring with the effects on. Hello world. In today's video, I will be going over a simple way to monitor slash record your vocals with auto-tune and other effects on, while also simultaneously keeping a recording of the vocals that's completely dry so you can add the effects to them later. This is important to do if you want to hear yourself in the mix while recording, but also allows you to have a separate dry version of that recording so that you can actually edit it the way you want and aren't stuck with the vocals that you just recorded. First things first, if you're going to be recording in real time, you're going to want to either be using Osseo for all or even better, something like the actual software that comes with the interface you're using. So for me, we're going to head into audio settings in the upper left and then change our device. Uh, if you don't have an interface, you're gonna wanna try to use Osseo for all, and then adjust this buffer length setting here, and adjust your buffer length to where you're getting less latency, but you can still hear your audio clearly without any glitches. For me, I'm going to be using Focusrite Osseo because that works extremely well for what we're doing and reduces latency the most, at least in my case. So this is an example of the audio that I'm trying to record while monitoring. In order to maintain latency, you're probably going to have to turn off a few things like Ozone 9 or any really strong plugins that you might have on that are weighing down your CPU. For me, I have to turn down Ozone 9, I have to turn off little Alter Boy if I'm going to record in real time with no latency. And then in order to get a dry recording, which is your actual recording take, but then monitor through a separate take, you're going to want to arm a track for recording, any track you'd like. Just make sure that that track is not routed to your master. So you're going to unclick this here in the bottom left if this is routed and unroute it. That way you do not hear your vocals as they come through. And then you're going to want to head over to a auto tune to take or whatever effects that you'd like to have on. And then in the upper left, this EXT, which is external, you want to change it to on. If you're hearing a lot of fuzz or audio in the background, you're going to want to add a noise gate to the end of your load order. So basically you can just use Fruity Limiter and head over to the right side here with these three settings for noise gate. In between the threshold and gain is where it's going to be allowing audio through. So if you turn this threshold up or down, that's how much audio it's going to let through. And I'll go ahead and show you what this monitoring audio sounds like with it off and you'll be able to hear the fuzziness in the background completely. And as you can see, when I turn that limiter on, it immediately cuts that fuzz away. And you don't have to worry about having the settings perfect because if it does cut some of your voice away, the dry recording that you're taking will have completely isolated vocals separate from these vocals that will sound a lot clearer and more crisp. And I'll go ahead and show you how this would look in action with the monitoring on and with it recording a take that is not monitoring. And again, the only track that's going to be armed is the one that is completely dry. The one with the actual load order, that one will be monitoring, but it will not be recording. And it's all okay. And if we listen to that take, we will see that it is completely dry. And it's all but now that you have the dry vocal, you can mix it freely with your load order and actually apply more effects to it. If you're having trouble with latency, like I said, you can turn a lot of the plugins off and you can even just work with the auto tune and a compressor to kind of give your voice an idea of how the auto tune is sounding. I personally don't record this way, but I made this video because I've heard a lot of people say that you can't do this in FL and I just wanted to show how simple it is. I'm sure there's many other methods and ways to do this. Like for instance, you might be able to just use one single track and tell it what to record and not have it record the loadout list, but this is a really simple way to do it. And if I ever have friends come over to record and they want to monitor their vocals, this is the way that I do it for them.
once you get your actual taken, you won't need this noise gate per se. You can denoise your vocals. And if you need a tutorial on that, you can go ahead and check the description and I'll have a tutorial on how to denoise your vocals and take away that background noise. But if not, a noise gate will do that just fine. I hope this video helped you if you've been trying to monitor your vocals with effects on and also keep a dry take during the recording. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, so much love, and peace. Have a good day.